Looking at one of the most crucial uh, ideas when it comes to integration, and it's called U substitution. Essentially, you're like undoing the process of a chain rule, and integration is always more difficult to begin with, so now we're going to have to try to uh, work our way backwards. So, just to remember, when we had a function like this that had an inside and an outside, and we found the derivative, we would do the chain rule. So, derivative of the outside, bringing the 4 down, with respect to the inside, the inside part stayed the same, the exponent went down like normal, and then we said times the derivative of the inside. So times that 4x there. So what we would do, we would simplify and get this value right here, and that would be your answer. Well now, if we're working backwards, how do I find the integral of this guy right here and somehow get back to this original equation? Well that's what we're going to have to try to work and figure out. So, let's just look right at that integral and see what we can do. <clears throat> what we're going to look at is that something's going on here where I don't know how to take this integral. But what I should notice is that two things are going on. One guy should be like the derivative of the other, or very similar to it. And the other part is that something should be like kind of on the inside. Whatever part you see is on the inside somewhere is probably going to be what we're going to substitute. And what we're going to do is just change a variable, um, do a little substitution to make this an easier looking integral. So kind of follow along with what I'm going to do. I'm going to first say the part that's on the inside, which is this 2x squared minus 3, I'm going to call it by a new variable. I'm going to call it u. Okay? When I change a variable, I just can't you know, change it just because I can't. I also need to change everything about it. So like this dx, I don't want to deal with x's anymore. I want to turn everything into u's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compute what the derivative of u is with respect to x. So the derivative of u here would be 4x, and I'm going to put this differential dx on the end there <clears throat> just to kind of remind us of what well, I'm talking about uh, a dx here uh, being changed because we're changing from going in terms of x to u. So what I'm now going to do is I want to try to change all this into something in terms of u. Well, I have already this 2x squared minus 3 I can change here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to solve for dx and get du over 4x just by doing basic division. That's really not the legal way to say it, but it just kind of makes sense and works out that way. So let's see what we have now. I can now rewrite this integral. Okay? I didn't change anything here with 16x, so I'm just going to leave it just as it is. What I'm going to do now, this part on the inside we called u. So instead of 2x squared minus 3, I'm going to call it u up to the third power. And dx, we just substituted from right here, I'm going to call that du over 4x. What's going to happen and what should happen? Something should cancel out. In this case, my x's should cancel out. And right here, this 16 and 4 should just become a regular 4. So I'm going to rewrite this integral as on the integral of 4u cubed du. And this is a much easier integral for us to try to work with. Remember we said we would increase the power by 1, so keep the coefficient 4u to the 4th divide by the new exponent, which is just the same as u to the fourth plus c. So now the only issue is though, we started in terms of x and we got an answer in terms of u. I don't like that, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that u value and just plug it right back in. And my final answer will be, when I plug back in, 2x squared minus 3, the quantity to the fourth power, plus c. That's my final answer. All right. So, those are the steps to take, and we have them written down right here to kind of show what the steps are in the process. What you should be looking for first, try to mark them here in white, okay? Find the inside function and call it u, so that's what we did right here. We then find du, this by taking a derivative, and don't forget this dx part, it is very important. We then went down and solved for dx, and we took all those pieces of information and tried to rewrite this integral. So we rewrote anything that we could and then cancel out and simplify. Things very much should cancel. We then just integrate with respect to u. That's what this du means. So just like we've always done, it should be a fairly simple integral. And then at the very last step, so that's what we did right here, on the very last step, after we do the integration, we then need to change everything back into terms of x, which is what we did. All right, so let's take a look at two more examples and try to walk through them. Again, we should be looking for something on the inside in this case, I'd be the x squared plus 1. I then take its derivative, which is 2x, and we always keep a dx there. 
And again, we should be checking 2x, 2x, yes, it makes perfect sense. That's what we should be having. Okay, so I want to solve this and make it so that dx equals du over 2x. And now it's time to try to solve and simplify this integral. So, this x squared plus 1, that's what we called u, so I'm going to now call it u squared. Okay, I didn't change a 2x, but dx is now a du over 2x. So what we should notice, again, is that we have things canceling out, and I have a very simple integral, the integral of u squared du. And I can just take that integral like I've done before. So this will be u cubed over 3 plus c. And again, I don't want, uh, in terms of u, so I'm going to plug back in what u was, x squared plus 1 to the third power over 3 and plus c. All right, and then we'll do this last one together as well. So, um, if you feel confident, I'd say pause the video, give it a try. Otherwise, uh, follow along and we'll see what we can do here. So, we will start with um, finding out what our u is, and we'll have to find a du. Again, our u, 99.9% .9 of the time, is going to be what's on the inside of something. Well, here's something that's on the inside. So, I'm going to call 2x to the fourth minus 1 my u. A lot of mistakes that some people make is they'll try to make like this whole thing to the fifth power as their u. That's not the right way to go about it. We want just the inside, because what that's going to do is allow us to undo that chain process. Now, our du, I bring the 4 in front, so 4 times 2 gives you 8, 8x to the third power, and we always keep that differential dx. And again, check and make sure this is the part that was on the inside, this is the other garbage that's out there. This is the du, the derivative, that we want to cancel out based on what the chain rule was outside with respect to inside, uh, times derivative of the inside. So, to get dx by itself, I'm going to divide by 8x cubed, and that's what will give me my dx. So now I can just go right through and simplify this integral. So I didn't change x cubed. I did change this part, though. Instead of 2x to the fourth minus 1, I called that u. So it's going to be u to the fifth power now. And dx, I said, was du over 8x cubed. Things should be canceling. I have an x cubed and an x cubed. What I have now here is the integral of u to the fifth over 8 du. Still not a very easy integral, but remember, if I have any constants here, I can just pull them out in front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this 8, which is on the bottom in the denominator, out in front. And that'll give me 1 8, the integral of u to the fifth du. That's a much easier integral for me to do. So I'm just going to keep the 1 8 out in front. And it's just going to be multiplied. So u to the fifth, I'm going to increase by 1, divide by the new exponent, plus c again, and then just simplify. So it'll be 1 over 48 times u to the sixth plus c. And again, we don't want to keep it in terms of u, so let's use what our u was and plug back in. So 1 over 48 times 2x to the fourth minus 1, all to the sixth power, plus c. And again, we can kind of go through and uh, check our answer. I'm going to do that for this one right here using the chain rule. It's always a good idea to check it. So I would take that derivative. I'd bring the 6 down in front. That would give me 6 over 48. Keep the inside the same, 2x to the 4th minus 1 now to the 5th power. And then times derivative of the inside, which would be 8x cubed. Well, uh, the 6 over 48 and then times 8, those all cancel out. I'm left with just an x cubed out front and then a 2x to the 4th minus 1 to the 5th power. And again, the plus c just goes away. And yes, that is exactly what we started with. So a good idea to try to check your work as you're going through this. We'll have many more examples uh, coming up in the next few days.